Hello everyone and welcome to the Lobo Jazzaku and today we have a review of a KO figure of the Revoltech Full Metal Alchemist Alphonse Eric. This figure, the original one was at a crazy high price, more than 200 euros. Uh, for a figure that originally costed 30 euros, that's insane, that's crazy. Uh, it was on my high list of figures that I wanted to have a re-release of, so I'm very glad that we have at least a KO. And uh, let's take a look at the figure itself. Take it out of the box. There you go. And we have a bunch of hands. And uh, now there doesn't seem to be that many accessories with this figure. Uh, but that's what the original already brought. So it makes it even more crazy that it was so goddamn expensive. So let's take a look at the figure itself to see how it looks. Now, overall, looks good so far. Um, I'm happy to see that the, there's a lot of detail, but the paint job is not very clean. Especially on this white part. Maybe I can fix that with some acrylic paint, but there's definitely some sloppiness in the paint job of the white part. Now the other one is actually well done I guess. Um, now this little part here fits in his helmet and there you go. Now it looks okay and overall the feel of the figure feels solid. I does feel solid to me. There's no stand. Uh, that's weird because I do think it should bring a stand. I'm probably going to check it because it's, otherwise it is missing its stand. Now we got a bunch of <laughs> joints that are just not on the right place overall but we are still looking at the paint shop. The paint shop again exception for the white part looks okay to me. Most of it is well done, it has that metallic finish look, so I'm happy with it. As mentioned before, the figure is missing the Revoltex stand. It stands well on its own, but of course you need a stand for the most action poses. Now again, the figure does not bring a lot of things, it brings the effect part for the feet. You do have some hands for making a transmutation circle and you have two pose hands besides of course the fist hands that are on him and then you have another head the head of surprise face and that's it that's it and of course a cube to keep the accessories that normally most of them don't actually fit that's just it that's how simplistic this figure is now the figure itself does look very good even though I gotta tell you that uh, there are some parts that I probably need to use some dry heat on it so it can fit better because as you can see this shoulder right now is taller than this one because of course this peg is a lot more in than this one I'm going to fix that okay shoulders fixed and let's try changing his hands uh, changing his hands looks easy enough. At least it came off easy enough. Let's see if it goes in easy enough. Okay. Yeah. Again, easy enough to do. And it does look very striking. Now, exchanging heads. Head pop off very easily. And let's see if it pops back in very easily as you can see the head is in a double revoltech joint oh <laughs> popping this guy inside is not gonna be as easy as popping out As you can see, the joint itself is relatively frail. So you need to be careful. Maybe I'll need to 
add some heat to it. Oh, almost popped it in. Okay, with the help of a dissection blade and the back of a pencil, I managed to loosen a little bit the hole that was too tight and put the head on. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, it's definitely limited and if I push too much, the head will again come out. But that's what you need to do is to enlarge that hole so this head can still fit on him. Not the best solution, uh, I wish there was an easier way, but that's all I can do for now, so it's definitely an issue with this KO. As we are looking inside, we can see the blood seal there, so nice small detail. Stop, it's articulation time. And now comes the interesting part. Let your fingers get in there and have a good old rub. So articulation, this is a KO of a very old figure and because of that there are some limitations on the articulation. First of all, I'm not a fan of the double rival tech joint on the neck. Gives you great looking forward and looking down, but it just limits any type of rotation. Uh, just not, not a fan at all. We then have a classic rival tech joint on the shoulder, very ratchety, and it just works very well. Allows you great range of motion all around. I would say definitely a good choice there. And then we have another very ratchet rival tech joint on the elbow, and another one on the hands. Um, so here, nothing to complain about. Here it's weird, I believe we have a hinge that allow you great crunch and not that much leaning back and then gives you rotation but definitely is not a ball joint and I don't think it's a ball hinge, I believe it's just a hinge and then we have a swivel <laughs> and then in the legs things get even more weird so we have the legs are pegged and then we have a hinge, the hinge allows you a decent kick forward even though this plastic part gets in the way not that much leaning back even though you have this little flap that allows you to kick a little bit more back but not that much and it's just that there's no rotation on the leg at all uh, we do have a decent spread but again not what do you expect from Revoltech legs and then we have also just a hinge on the knee that works very well we then have a ball hinge not a ball hinge a rival tech joint on the foot very ratchet too allows you to pivot no toe bend so the articulation is very nice for an old figure but again could be better especially on that head Oh yes. Rivaltech Wolverine KO. Hashtag Figure Arts. Endgame. Thanos KO. Figma Overwatch Diva. Figma ReZero Ram. Well, this is far from being a perfect KO, but it's not a bad KO. Uh, overall, the paint shop is good enough I can fix the problems in the skirt the problem with the fitting one of the heads in the head bag is a little bit worse but still fixable considering the differences in prices between the original one and this KO it's actually not a bad deal taking that into consideration I do give it my low budget otaku seal of approval it's been really hard to get figures to review for the channel because unfortunately uh, my financial situation is not in the best of places. And if you want to help out the channel don't forget that there is a Patreon account and the link is down in the description below and in the cards above. I'm working on a very very important video game PS4 review. I hope you guys will tune in for that. Don't forget to subscribe to know when the next video is up. See you next time.